what's up people I'm back with just more of a I don't want to say educational <laughs> but I'm gonna say more informative type of video so this is gonna be about lagging body parts guys what to do how to do it uh, and how to bring your bo lagging body parts out and how to make them not a lagging body part anymore First things first, we've all had lagging body parts. I've had the same, um, my back was very, 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 very weak for a long, long period of time and now it's probably one of my strengths. Um, and the way I did that personally was just upping my frequency of hitting that muscle every single week. Um, it wasn't voluntary, I had a bad shoulder injury and I ended up, I couldn't push for about two months. Um, I don't know how the shoulder works so I think it's my supraspinatus had an impingement so I couldn't push in because my front delt was so sore. So I ended up doing back three, four times a week. Uh, my back really grew, the density of the muscle really grew. Um, I did this for two months and that was it and I really, really, really noticed the difference. So my first tip will be frequency. Frequency of training, increasing the amount of times you hit the lagging body part per week. That goes for non-lagging body parts as well if you really want to bring them out. Um, do them more than once a week. In natural athletes, I've said this before, I'll say it again, natural athletes, 48 hours to 72 hours is the window in which we have protein synthesis. Protein synthesis is what builds muscle. After 72 hours, protein synthesis stops and uh, muscle atrophy will start happening, which is the opposite of hypertrophy, which means you will start actually losing muscle. Okay, it might not be very significant and you probably still can grow doing everything once a week, but just very, very, very slowly. Much slower than if you were to hit your muscles once, twice, three times a week. So, number one, frequency. Increase the amount of times you do it a week, whether it's one, two, three, take out the one, two, or three times a week. When I talk about frequency, guys, if you think about it, you train everything once a week, every body part once a week, that's one body part 52 times a year. If you push that to two, that's already doubling it to 104 times a year. And if you're tripling it, you know, that's even more, it's 156 times a year. So it, just by increasing it once a week, increasing your workouts by once a week on the muscle you wanna bring up, that's already double over the year. Like over a year, you've doubled the amount of, the amount of time, effort, sessions on that one body part. So for me, that's what first made me do it. I, I never really thought about it and one of my friends said, oh, why don't you try a... Uh... I didn't even know about the whole protein synthesis this thing to start off with. So one of my friends was just like, look, if you do it once a week, it's 52 times a year. If you do it twice a week, it's 104 times. It's like, oh shit, I best get on this training because I'm missing out on some serious gains. And I was, and I was. And ever since I started doing that, I've really, really started to grow. That is my first tip. Next tip do the lagging body part first. So if you're doing a chest and triceps day and you have really weak triceps, blast your triceps first and then move into the chest. Uh, why? Priority principle. You will have more energy, you'll be more psyched up, you'll be more ready to hit that weak body part to start off with. So therefore more effort will go into it, more weight will go into it, more reps will go into it and that will hopefully push some more stress into the muscles um, and make them grow. Um, I've used priority principle many, many times. Uh, it feels a bit weird when you're doing a smaller body part over the bigger body part, but if you, once you get your head around it, honestly, it's, it's really a, it's a good technique. And that's the same with, um, I use this as a powerlifting, so I always use my powerlifting lifts at the start, because if you do it at the end, all your energy stores are gone and you can't really put all the effort into it. So it's the same principle as that. So number two, train it first. Number three, train harder. I know you guys might think you train hard, and I know you, I'm not trying to say that I train harder than anyone else, but if you want to bring up a lagging body part, train it harder. Incorporate drop sets, incorporate supersets, incorporate things that you've never done before, try new exercises, hit it from every single angle you can. If you want to bring up your chest, try extended, extended flies, try drop set flies, try superset flies, really try something you've never tried before make it burn, make it hurt, get the pump insane, push all the blood into that muscle as much, as much, as much as you can and watch it grow. Uh, you couple that that third third thing with the first two things, I'm telling you, your lagging body part will not be a lagging body part anymore. 
Fourth thing, accessory work. For example, you need to bring up your triceps. All you're gonna do is hit chest and triceps, shoulders and triceps, and an arm day. That way you add triceps as an accessory to every other workout. Um, I've recently been doing this with my calf because they're very, very weak. So all I do is, is do chest, tricep, or I don't do chest, tricep, do that. I do push. So I do push with calves, I do pull with calves, and I do legs with calves. Therefore I get my calves three times a week. So use what you need to bring up as an accessory. That is exactly the same for every single muscle. You need to bring up your legs, you put legs on chest day. It does not matter. You need to bring up your chest, bring it on back day, on leg day, it does not matter. As long as you hit, I don't know, six, seven sets on that muscle, full out, hard, get a pump, get a bit of a rip, that is six, seven sets more a week than you would have done without doing that accessory work. So it's a bit, it's a bit like frequency, because you're increasing the frequency, but all you're doing is throwing a few sets onto each workout, and that just brings up your total sets for the week. Fifth and final point, um, it's probably the least important point, but it's still a point nevertheless, is to have a calorie surplus on the day that you want to grow the muscle. So for me, I always, always, always wanted to uh, do my legs. And when I was training my legs once a week, I always had a cheat day on my leg day. I always tend to have my calories now, probably 400, 300, I'm in a surplus by the way guys, three or 400 above what I normally eat a day on my leg day because I really want to pump all the nutrients in there, I want to make sure everything's getting in there, I want to make sure they're going to start repairing as quickly as possible, I want to make sure they start growing as quickly as possible. So a slight calorie surplus on the day that you want to bring up is my final tip on how to bring up your lagging body parts. There are many, many, many other reasons and many, many other reasons. There are many, many, many other ways that you can bring up your lagging body parts, guys, okay? So don't be afraid to Google it, don't be afraid to YouTube it. Don't be afraid to comment down below if you know some, because that would be fantastic. So people could just come to this video, lagging body parts, have my five reasons, scroll to the, um, the comments, and they have even more reasons, uh, even more reasons, even more ways to bring up the lagging body parts, because this is about helping each other, guys. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this different type of video. Let me know if you want to hear some more. I've got many, many videos that I want to do like this, so I didn't know if you're going to get bored listening to it. So let me know if you don't. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah! <laughs>